kids, this sure is a different way for us to be together, but I'm really glad to have some time with you to tell you a great story about Jesus today. I hope you and your families are doing really well. And before we get started with this, our story, I need you to gather some things around your house. So can you get a piece of white paper? And can you get a piece of blue paper? And if you don't have blue paper, don't worry, it's okay. Just get a second piece of white paper. You're gonna need some crayons. You're going to need some tape. And you're going to need some string. It can be any kind of string. It can be yarn, it could be a shoelace, it could be ribbon for wrapping a present. And last, you'll need some scissors. So be careful when you get your scissors, make sure you point them down and bring them back to the area you're going to do your activity with me. So I'll give you some time now, pause your video and go gather your supplies. Okay kids, let's talk about things that go up. Have you ever looked up in the sky and noticed things that are up there like a plane or a helicopter, birds, the clouds, and or maybe a hot air balloon? Or have you ever let go of a balloon, maybe on purpose or on accident, and watched it float away? Well, eventually it comes down somewhere. That's what the law of gravity says. What goes up must come down. Well, today we're gonna to talk about something, actually someone who went up, but has not come back down yet. But first, let's do a little fun science experiment. I have over here a bottle of Diet Coke and I am going to try and make this Diet Coke go up. So you may have seen this before, but it's okay. It's really fun to watch again and again. All right, you guys ready? I hope I don't get wet. Whoa! <laughs> I still can't believe how high that Coke went. That was really fun. To get ready for our story, we are going to make some props to help us remember the story later. So let's get out our blue paper and I want you to cut it into the shape of a cloud. So you can make it whatever shape you would like to make your cloud in. Just don't make it too small. We want it to be a big cloud. Then I want you to take your white piece of paper and I want you to draw a picture of Jesus on it. This is mine. I am not the greatest drawer, but this will give you a little, little sample of what I'm talking about. So draw a picture of Jesus on it and then cut around it so he's, he's smaller. He's not the same size as the big piece of paper. And then take your string and tape it to the back of Jesus, okay? So this will, um, you keep working on this while I tell you our story about Jesus today. We recently celebrated Good Friday and Easter Sunday when Jesus died on the cross and rose again. And I am so thankful that he did that for you and for me. But Jesus' time on earth didn't end when he rose from the dead. He stayed on the earth for 40 days. He saw many people during those 40 days and revealed himself to them. He saw his disciples, he saw Mary Magdalene, and many others along the way. Some recognized him, and some didn't. Many people forgot that Jesus said he would come back to life and they were shocked by it. In Luke chapter 24, verses 44 through 53, this is what the Bible says about this time. Then he said to them, this is Jesus speaking. He said, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. And then he opened their minds. That means he made them understand what it is that he had been telling them. So they understood the scriptures and he said to them, thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in, the name to, in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem, which is just where they were, this right where Jesus was meeting them. You are witnesses of these things, he's telling his disciples. And behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Oh, Jesus, uh, God was going to send something for the disciples. This is right before 
God the Father sent the Holy Spirit to the disciples so that they could have Jesus in their life, even when he wasn't there with them in person. Do you know that you and I can have Jesus in our life because he died on the cross for our sins? We can accept him into our lives just like the disciples did. We also celebrate that after Jesus was on the earth for 40 days, he went back to heaven. This is called ascension. It is a big word, I know, but it means going up, just like we were talking about earlier. Okay, kids, let's take our cloud and make a cut in it. I've already made one, but this is how I did it. I folded it in half, or just folded it down a little bit, and snipped a little little part of it and made a hole like this. It doesn't have to be really big, and it doesn't have to be perfect, just a little hole that you can slide your string through. So I want you to take your string with Jesus on it, and put it through like that. And then just set it down while we listen to the rest of the story. So the Bible, it goes on to tell us that Jesus was with his disciples at the end of the 40 days and he told them that he would see them soon. Listen to what it says in the at the end of the chapter 24 of Luke. It says, then he led them out as far as Bethany. It's talking about Jesus here. Jesus led his disciples out and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he parted from them, and he was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped, the disciples worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were there continually in the temple, blessing God. Can you imagine being there at that time, when people saw Jesus come back to life, and then go up into heaven? I am so glad that we get to hear about it from reading our Bibles, and we get to share this story with others. I want you to take your cloud picture now, and here's Jesus down on the earth with his disciples, and as he was blessing them, whoops, I'm going to turn it around because we want to hide him. He rose up into heaven to be with his Father. So, you can't see him now, but does that mean that Jesus isn't with us anymore? Absolutely not. Jesus is always with us. But he is not here on the earth walking with us like he did back then with the disciples. But the Bible promises us that he will come back one day for you and for me. And until then, we have the Holy Spirit to live in us. So that like the disciples, when we believe in Jesus, we have him with us always with the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus died on the cross and fulfilled all those prophecies, which is what the Bible led up to, it means that we can have a relationship with him we get to have him for a friend. So what does that mean for you and me today? So because we know how much Jesus loves us, we can't keep it to ourselves. It's such great news. We want to tell others. So after Jesus went back to heaven, this is when the church began. In the books of Acts, it is where it tells us that the disciples went out and told others about Jesus's death, his resurrection, and his ascension into heaven. So for us today, just like the disciples, back then Jesus wants us to tell others about him that means we use our words to tell them and it also means that we are to show others about God's love well it's a really weird time right now we're kind of stuck at home we can't go to church we're not able to go to school we can't go to the park or visit with friends but there are still ways to show God's love to others I want you to be thinking about those ways and come up with some plans of how you can show God's love to the people around you and in your home. I have a couple ideas that I'll share with you. You could send an encouraging note to a friend. You could draw a, a picture or color a picture and send it to a friend from school, a friend from church, to one of your teachers, to your grandparents, or anyone else you think might need some encouragement and love and enjoy your pictures. You can also, when you're out walking with your family in your neighborhood, wave and smile to the people on their porches and in their yards. There's such a warmth in, in that friendly, friendliness of uh, waving and smiling. You can also draw a picture on your sidewalk with chalk or write a Bible verse so that when people are walking by your house, they will feel encouraged and enjoy that. And you know, we've had a lot of wind. Maybe there's some garbage laying around that has blown around in your neighborhood. You could go around with mom and dad and maybe pick up some of the garbage so that um, 
so that it cleans up your neighborhood a little bit. So those are ways you can, can love others outside your house and inside your house with your brothers, your sisters, your mom, your dad, whoever it is that you're with right now. Even though we can't all be together at church, singing and playing games, reading Bible stories together, we can still learn about God while we're at home and through technology like this. Hang your cloud and your Jesus somewhere where it reminds you that Jesus didn't just die because that would be a terrible story. And he didn't just raise from, rise from the dead, although that was so amazing, but he is also in heaven waiting for us to be with him one day. And we have the Holy Spirit with us now. So I wanna pray for us together. So will you close your eyes and pray with me? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much that you died on the cross for us and rose again, fulfilled the promises that were made. I thank you for all these kids. Would you bless them while they're, they're at home and while they're away from church? And Lord, would you help us together again really soon? We look forward to that. We trust you with what is happening and we ask you to continue to protect us and take care of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Grace Kids. I can't wait to see you again, and I do hope it is really, really soon, and I will be praying for you. Bye.